Hi, everyone. Welcome to another edition of SEL Mindfulness, Meditation, and Art with me, Mrs. Weintraub. Today, we are going to focus on what is meditation. Meditation is an experience of relaxing the body, quieting the mind, and awakening your spirit. So last time we focused on mindfulness, which was paying attention to the present moment. So right now, I would like you to close your eyes, sit in a quiet area, and I would like you to listen to the music. As we are listening, please take deep breaths in and out. And we are going to focus on our breathing and the quiet and our minds. And we are going to breathe in love, breathe out love, breathe in peace, breathe out peace, breathe in light, breathe out light. Now, keep focusing on your breathing. Please place your hands above your heart and with me out loud, say, I am light, I am love, and I am peace. We are now going to begin our SEL activity portion of our segment. How do you communicate and talk about your feelings? What emotions do you share and show? So I want you to think about right now, how are you feeling today? Let's look at our Bitmoji poster. Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you angry? Are you worried? Are you shy? Are you excited? Are you surprised? Are you a little silly? Or maybe a little embarrassed? Well, today we are going to explore a book for our SEL activity called The Color Monster. The Color Monster is a story by Anna Lennis. Please sit back, relax, and listen to our story before our art activity. The Color, the Color Monster, Monster, a story about emotions by Anna Yenas. This is the Color Monster. Today he woke up feeling confused and he doesn't know why. Are you all mixed up again, Color Monster? Your emotions don't work well when they're all jumbled up. You should try to separate them and put each one in its own jar. If you'd like, I can help you. Let's try to make sense of how you feel. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you laugh and jump and dance and play. You wanna share your happiness with everyone. This is sadness. It is lonely and blue like a rainy day. It washes over you like the sea. When you're sad, you hide and want to be alone. You don't want to do anything except maybe cry. It's okay to cry, color monster. 
This is anger. It burns red like a fire and it's hard to stamp out. When you're angry, life can feel unfair. Sometimes you want to take your anger out on others. But I'll be nice to you, color monster, and your anger will disappear. This is fear. It hides and runs away like a mouse in the night. When you're afraid, you feel tiny. You think you don't have the courage to face the gray shadows, but I can help you find your way. This is calm. It is quiet like the trees and as light as green leaves swaying in the wind. When you're calm, you breathe slowly and deeply. You feel at peace. Now you can rest, color monster. All your feelings are in the right place. See? Don't you feel much better? Uh-oh. I see you're feeling something new. You look different, color monster. Tell me, how do you feel now? Hi everyone, so we listened to a book today called The Color Monster. So for today's art activity, we are going to be creating a happy color monster. Inside the book, The Color Monster, it talked about a couple of different emotions that we feel on an everyday basis. We feel happiness, we feel anger, we feel sadness, fear, and calmness. So today at the beginning, we talked about in our mindfulness section was how are you feeling today ask yourself how are you feeling today are you exhausted are you confused are you ecstatic are you guilty are you angry frustrated sad confident embarrassed happy disgusted scared enraged ashamed overwhelmed or depressed so think about how you're feeling today and we are going to transform that feeling into happiness. So right now, I would like you to get a blank piece of paper. And I want you to hold it in the form of the portrait view, which is the long way. And I would like you to write your name on top. So I'm going to write Mrs. Weintraub. To show that. I am the owner of the art piece and this is my artwork. So for the, the steps that we're going to do together, I have put the checklist up for you next to this video um, side by side and you will be able to use the steps and do them and follow along with me. So the first thing we need to do for the color monster, for the happiness color monster, is we have to remember what he looked like inside the book. So do you remember some of the organic shapes and lines we used? Hmm. Yes, zigzag lines. So we're going to start out by creating our color happy monster by making zigzags. So we're going to do one zigzag up. So it looks like an open-ended triangle. And we're going to look up and down, up and down, up and down. And we're going to stop right there. Then we're going to give a curved line on the beginning, so the beginning zigzag, see that? A curved line. And then we are going to curve the other line. And on the bottom, we are going to make zigzags again for the bottom, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Everybody did that first step? Okay. And we want to make his eyes. Now his eyes are going to be closed. So we're going to make them in the shape of a U. So watch how I do that. I make one U, two U's. Okay, please do that at home right now. Next, we're going to give him some bushy eyebrows on his face. Are you ready? So we are going to use squiggle lines for that. So I'm going to do a squiggle line like that. And then I'm going to bring it back around. And I'm going to shade it in to add some value to my 
Happy Color Monster. See that? So I'm gonna shade it in with my pencil. So you're using a pencil at home. Mrs. Weintraub's using a marker to show you that way you can see it clear enough to create it on your own at home. So I'm going to color that in and shade that in to add the value. Remember, we always use art terms while we are creating our art. So there are his bushy eyebrows. And now, to make him happy, we have to make him with a smile. So we're going to add a curved U-shape to his face. So watch how I do that. I go from one end to the other, and I curve it up. Now, we're going to use the shape of two triangles to create his teeth. So I'm going to do one triangle here and a smaller one next to it to show his teeth. Everybody with me? Great. Now, we're going to make his arms and his legs. So we're going to make him be happy. And we know drawing and doing art makes us happy and our heart feel great. And it also makes our mind be very creative. And we have a lot of awesome and awesomeness to do today. So we're going to use some musical notes as well today in our drawing. And we're going to use in a musical instrument that he's going to be holding an accordion. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to make his arms by making an organic line go up. And we're going to swirl it around like a hook on a mug. And then we're going to do one for the other side up and we're going to come around. Now, we're going to give him his fingers by making pointy triangles, and we're going to give him one, two, three, four, five fingers. Okay, and we're going to bring it up and come back around into him, and we're going to do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, bring it up and come around. Okay, so now his arms are like this. He's ready to hold that accordion in his hand. After that, we are going to put a rectangle around the left hand and a rectangle around the right hand. Within that rectangle, I want you to draw a smaller rectangle. See how Mrs. Weintraub does that? I go around the fingers, so it looks like he's putting his fingers into the holes of the rectangles to hold the accordion. Now, we are going to use another type of line. And at this point, you're also going to need to make sure you have an eraser available because we're going to have to erase some of his body to do on the accordion. So watch how we do that. So we're going to then erase it about an inch on each of his sides of his body. Now remember, we didn't do the legs yet. We're going to go back to the legs. Okay? So we're going to do that accordion by making a squiggle line straight across and a straight squiggle line straight across the top. On that, we're going to give diagonal lines into it to show the movement of the accordion, to give it motion, see that? So there's our accordion. Now we're gonna to come to the very bottom. We're gonna make his foot and his legs. So we're gonna bring a straight line down and then curve it at the end. And we're gonna bring another one over here. We're gonna bring a straight line down and curve it back. Now, we're going to go back to this front foot. We're going to make three open-ended triangles and bring it straight up. That's his first leg. Then we're going to take that from the second leg. We're going to swing it around with a curve and make three more. And then we're going to bring it back up into his body. So there are his legs. Okay? So here is our happy monster, color monster. Um, he's holding the accordion. Now, to make him truly, truly happy, he loves to hear music. And we all know when we listen to all different types of music, we get excited. We start to dance. We get looser. We feel very good. We get good thoughts. It motivates us to do other things. And so we want to add some music for him so he can feel happy and excited to make that Smile, get even bigger. So watch how we do that. We're going to draw some wavy lines that are going to come from the end of the accordion and we're going to go all the way up. 
Okay, we're going to draw those music notes onto these lines. And you can put the music notes wherever you want to fit them on those movement lines to show the music. So one type we're going to do is we're going to draw a line, a circle, attach it. We're going to shade it in. And then we're going to give two little lines coming off the side. See that? And we're going to put a couple of those all around a line down, a circle, and two lines off of it. Okay, now we're going to do a more complex one. We are going to do a line down, ready, with a circle, a line across, a line down, and another line across. See that? So we're giving him some music notes. And then we'll do a fancy, in-depth one. So we're going to go up, come around, come down, and bring it back up. Okay? So here is our happy color monster. So you at home, your next step will be to outline everything. That means trace over all of the lines we did in our drawing today. And you are going to do it outlined in black or brown, or any dark marker you have available. So I had a purple marker available today to use, so I used purple. After that, you are going to decide what color, either it be a warm color or a cool color, or a primary color or a secondary color. You are going to take your markers or your crayons at home. You are gonna pick one color. It could be your favorite color. Um, or it could be a color that makes you happy and excited. It could be the color of your bedroom or a color that you're wearing on your clothing today. And you are going to color in the color monster, his body, in that solid color. So, I hope you had fun today. The steps are on the side to go over if you need them. And I can't wait to see you next time. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye for now.